Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to light a scene and I'm also going to show you how to light part of the scene. So let's say you have, you're out filming at night and you got some shots and you want like the, the ground to be lighter but you want the, the dark atmosphere or the dark sky. Uh, a lot of people don't know how to do that sort of lighting so you can do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, I'm using CC 2015 and I'm going to show you how to do it. All right, let's roll. First things first, I got some ducks on a lake. This is just standard stock footage. You can select any footage you want. No big deal. All right, dropping that onto the timeline. I can clicked on it and dropping it on timeline. It's not a very long shot, but that's okay because this is just to demonstrate the technique. This isn't something I would put in a in a movie or something like that. Uh, all right, so we've got a ducks on the lake and this is what it looks like. Now what we're gonna do is the skyline here, we're gonna light it differently and then we're gonna leave the lake and the mountains and the trees uh, lit a little uh, darker and, and I'm gonna show you vice versa. So the first thing you need to do is you wanna go to new item down here and this is anybody that's using Adobe Premiere Pro since CS6 I believe, this should be here. Uh, and then you want to create an adjustment layer. Bang, there we go. Just It's going to accept the same settings as your footage, which is fine. Now grab the adjustment layer that you've created and drop it on top of the ducks or whatever your footage is. I'm going to extend that out to the end so that they're both the same length. Now, this is where it gets fun. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to add in an effect and we want to light the whole scene to start. So go to your effects panel. Mine is located right here. If yours is not uh, showing up, just go to window and make sure the check mark is beside the effects. Video effects is where it's located, but for me, all I do is type in lighting and here we go. It, it is under video effects, adjust lighting effects. Now click on it and very be very careful. Please apply it to the adjustment layer, not to the layer below. Uh, the reason why is the adjustment layer allows us to create all sorts of adjustments and if we don't like them, they're not applied directly to the footage. So they can basically be deleted and adjusted without messing with the underlying footage. Now you're going to notice that, well, that gives you a pretty weird spot like -y look and that is not what we want. So you want to go up to your effect controls right here, drop down, you're going to see lighting effects and yeah, this is a kind of weird... I don't know if that's like an oval shape. That's not what we want. So click on lighting effects. Now click on light one, drop down that triangle, and now you want to uh, move from spotlight to directional. When you do that, this scene is now lit completely differently. Let's do a quick look. I'll move it to the beginning. And I'm gonna turn the effects off. That is with it off. That is with it on. For many people, that is all you need to do to add some light and get some of that dark footage that you thought you captured but you didn't capture. That might be all you need to do. We are going to go a step further in this, but if that's all you need, that's all you need. Great. So that's it. Now, we've got some new lighting in there and it actually looks really, really good. You can, of course, make some adjustments. Uh, one of the major adjustments is the intensity of the light. If you want it to be blown out or if you want it to be darker or even turn the lights off because uh, that's what she said to me, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, this is the big adjustment. I'm going to go with like, I'm going to go with a brighter than normal. This is not normal um, what I would go for in a, in a movie or something like that. But this is just to demonstrate the technique that we're about to, to apply. Now, we've come this far, looks pretty good. You can, of course, go in there and make some adjustments if you want your light color to be something less than uh, pure white, go ahead and do that. Um, that's of course season it to your taste. And you can also reduce the ambience as well, which, you know, kind of, I mean, I'm not gonna mess around with it. I'm gonna go with 20, but if you wanted to, you know, decrease it, that might look a little bit better, for example. Whatever, go nuts. Um, these are all things you can change. As you can see, we're just gonna skip through that. You guys go through that on your own time. Now, the next step is how are we gonna isolate the sky from the trees and mountains and the lake. And that's a really good point. And the correct way to do it is to use a mask. In fact, you wanna click on this free draw bezier, which we usually call the pen tool. And we're gonna draw a very quick mask. This is gonna be very rough because we're just demonstrating the technique. We're not doing um, a final look at what it would look like if this was going into some serious production. So I have clicked on this, oh shoot, I'm gonna control Z. I have clicked on this mask 
I'm gonna delete that, sorry, I'm gonna start again. Click on this pen tool and we are gonna start drawing that mask, here we go. Click, now, I'm gonna go ahead and outside the lines, cause that doesn't matter. I'm going very quickly, very, oh shoot, no, slow. Okay, you see what I'm doing guys? Yeah, I know, it's not perfect, but that's not the point. I'm just drawing a very quick mask and it's very, very quick, cause it's, uh, yeah, it's very finicky. I gotta move it in actually. I'm gonna go in a, oh yeah, yeah, dodo. Let's go to 75%. Alright, I'm going to move that back to here, and then I'm going to go here, here. You see what I'm doing, guys? This is what you would do in a, in a final shot, something like this. Um, but I'm just doing this really quick. Let's make a point there, and we're going to make a point down here. Point over here, point there, point here, point there. Okay, nice and quick, very rough. Now I'm getting near the edge of the screen, so I'm gonna just draw back here and then go to 25% so I can see the whole thing. And then I'm gonna make a point there. Go outside the lines like this, this doesn't matter. And then when you see the O, that closes it up. That is going to show us the effect that we are kind of going for. We are gonna make some changes to it, but you can already see that we've gotten kind of what we're looking for. We've clicked off of it, the top is dark, and the bottom is a little bit lighter. Now, if you don't want that, if you want the top lighter and the, and the other, and, and the bottom darker, you can invert it with that button, which is, whoa, that's a really cool effect. Let's go with that. You know what? That's what we're looking for, right? We've got a nice bright sunny sky and a dark mountainy ducky thingy going on. Whatever, this is just for demonstration. Now, obviously this is way off, but uh, again, you see what we're doing here. Now, when you click on the light, when you click on the mask part in me, now here's where you can start making some more cool adjustments. One of them is mask feather. Now watch when I move that up, like I'm gonna feather it to say a uh, big, big number, like 126. You'll see that it feathers up and down. This sort of blends around the borders. It's gonna take away that harsh uh, divide that you saw. Again, you guys can do that as you see fit. Click off to sort of see the effect. Again, it's not perfect, and in fact, it goes a little bit too far, I think, but um, whatever, that's, that's just an example. Click back on the adjustment layer. Another thing you'd wanna work with is mask expansion. You can expand the mask as well, and let's see what that looks like. So there's no expansion, negative expansion, regular, positive, let's see, let's go with that. What do you think? Oh no, that's a bit too far, but yeah, we've expanded the mask. Okay, so let's click on the mask here again. So we've got some expansion, we've got some feather in there. You can actually go ahead and reduce the opacity if you want it to blend in. So at 100% opacity, it means it's you know fully on. But if you wanna lower that, you can see that you can start to get a subtler effect when you get into the 60s and 70s. And guys, that is how you can selectively and synthetically light footage inside Adobe Premiere Pro. I will state one thing, you may wanna look at doing this inside After Effects, especially if you have the Creative Cloud version because After Effects has some, you know, a little bit better tools for this type of thing. But if you're a Premiere Pro type person and that's it, this is how you do it. I hope this tutorial helped. Please ask me any questions or leave any comments if you, if you have anything that you wanna get clarified on. And uh, we'll be back soon with some more stuff. All right, this is your boy Curtis checking out. Thanks for watching.